should not use race or othering as a tool to weaponize against people. And unfortunately for a large percentage of the Floridians, that's what he has done. Therefore, we are advising African-Americans and others that if you travel to Florida, beware. NAACP President and CEO Derek Johnson referencing the recent law signed by Governor Ron DeSantis. Now the NAACP is telling some people not to travel to Florida. They claim the state is, quote, openly hostile toward African-Americans, people of color, and LGBTQ plus individuals. The organization's travel advisory comes just before the upcoming holiday weekend, of course. And Tanner Stewart joins us in the studio now. And Tanner, the local tourism leaders say they don't really expect to see people changing their plans to come this weekend. That's as of this afternoon, Bob. Darren Schaefer, CEO of Visit Pensacola, is actually at a trade show in another state this week promoting Pensacola tourism. He says not a single person has even mentioned this travel advisory. I would never tell anyone not to come to Florida. They're coming to visit. I, I think the advisory is for those who are coming to make this their home. Uh, beware. Rodney Jones is a lifetime member of the NAACP and former president of the Pensacola chapter. Jones says he was elated to see the efforts on the national stage and supports the recent advisory, but still urges visitors to come enjoy their time. We have such a, a lively tourist industry here in this greater Florida area. And so I would never tell them not to do that, but I would tell those who want to be residents here in Florida, beware all the situations and circumstances that we're now caught ourselves in. The current Pensacola chapter president says he stands by the message, telling me over the phone today, this is not a good time to visit Florida to help us make a point in how our governor is treating African Americans and all people of color. We have to make a stand and bring awareness to our country. The governor's office tells me this is nothing more than a stunt. The advisory comes after the governor blocked funding on diversity programs in schools and shut down discussion on gender issues and critical race theory. The NAACP's push for people to stay away from Florida also comes days before DeSantis is expected to announce a run for president. Pensacola's leader in tourism is in San Antonio tonight at a trade show, saying no one has approached him asking about the proposed boycott. We have not seen that, that become a, a major issue. The Pensacola area is, is welcoming to all. I mean, that is something that time and again stands out is how friendly our, our residents are. And so we pride ourselves on, on welcoming every visitor with the same warmth and friendliness. You know, until we have uh, something that really is an issue, it's not. Now, Pensacola is coming off a very strong tourism season. 2022 Visit Pensacola reports more than 2.5 million people visited here last year, spending $1.3 billion statewide. Now, Visit Florida reports nearly 138 million people visited the statewide last year. Live in the studio, I'm Tanner Stewart.